This month, we have created an add-on for our members, it is called Object Version Control for version management at the object level. Blender also has a version control mechanism, so in the preferences, we can change this number to keep a backup of our blend file. It will create a series of backup files whenever you save the main blend file, so it works at the file level, and sometimes it may be useful. But here we are talking about versions at the object level in a single file, so that we can go back into the history of an object without making any change in any other object in our scene. To install this add-on, first go to Edit Preferences, then in the Add-ons tab, select the disk option from here. Then select our installation file and install the add-on. Then enable the add-on from here and in the viewport, you can press the N key to bring this side panel. You'll see that we have now got a new tab here called Versions. We can use these buttons to see the previous versions of any object, it works for the object which is currently selected. Now if we select a new object, we may not see any history, there is just one version here. But as we make some changes and save this file, it will create more versions of that object like this. So every time you make changes and save the file, it adds a new version. You can also go to the most recent or the oldest version or any other version from here and use that version in your project. You can also go to a particular version directly from here. Then in the settings window, you can customize some of the parameters for the add-on, and the same window can be also opened from the menu option. Here you can set the maximum number of versions to be maintained for each object. Then there are some more options here that may be useful, like you can create the versions only for the active object. Or you can keep a set of objects in a collection and create versions only for that collection. Then there is also an option called Save Draft Versions, we can enable this option for example, and then let's say we make some changes to this object, maybe we'll rotate it by some angle. Then without saving these changes, if we go to a previous version, it will automatically create a new version, that contains the unsaved changes, that we made for this object. So there are many good uses for this add-on, and we are sharing it free for our members who join this month. Later you can also get it from our web stores, the links are given below. So I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and join this channel.